Hey, what's up, guys? Paddy here, and welcome. Uh, well, we'll see. Welcome back to the channel, and uh, things are up and going again. Things are a wee bit different. Um, things are on the way in delivery and process and all that sort of caper. So things will be changing. You will. So for the next lot of vlogs, backgrounds will be changing. You'll see different backdrops and everything. So at the minute, I will obviously. I've set this up quickly just to try and do this video quickly. Um, but professionally I shouldn't be trying to do, try to rush this. So I'm gonna take my time doing it, but I'm sorry about the backdrop, but there's nothing I can do about that at the minute. For <clears throat> excuse me, for editing reasons and all that sort of caper. Um so just gonna open my notepad here because obviously I need to I had to take notes for this because obviously by the title of this video, this is E3 week, this is the Xbox E3 2019 briefing in quite immersive detail, should I say, you know, I've like, you know, I've done more writing than I've ever done since I left high school. Like, I've, this is the most I've ever written since I left high school, probably. Um, so, skin and tip. Um, so, yeah, so, Xbox E3 was a complete success in the Xbox books. In the books of Xbox, I would say it was a complete success, in my own opinion. Um, so, Xbox E3 kicks off with uh, a trailer of The Other Worlds, which was released on the 25th of October 2019, which is based, which to me kind of gave me a feel like Bioshock. It kind of gave me like a Bioshock uh, Infinite type feel, but like you're basically on uh, settlements or, like, across the galaxy. And you're on the last known settlement and you're a guy who basically starts basically starts up a revolution and fights back against the corporate against the corporate ministry um and then we go move on to um part of um the xbox game studios family uh guys called ninja theory um these guys ninja theory they were behind the games like uh devil may cry series which is very popular and a couple of others they released a new game which is coming out later this month uh called bleeding edge uh go check out um i will be putting like a wee short video in or uh, at the end of this hopefully i'm going to make sure i do um oh basically all the clips that were shown at the end of e3 uh all the, all the basically all the previews of the games um so i will not make no money off this whatsoever then we move on to a game that, that in my instance kind of started with xbox one way back in the day way back in 2015 um so this is a returning game a returning game to the series that started way back then i started off with uh, ori and the blind force now we're getting ori and the will of the wisps uh that is going to come out in february 11th 2020 and these all all these dates I say guys are all accurate dates these dates were all given exactly in E3 so as you can think Ori and the Will of the Wisps is a sexy style game sexy same way as Ori and the Blind Forest for any guys who played that game or like that game this is the next one in a, in a, in a series of it and then we move on to get to something for kids and us adults as well to people who play it uh, the guys from Mojang, uh, creators obviously Mojang, Minecraft. Minecraft are releasing a new style of game, like Minecraft but not Minecraft. Basically, uh, basically bringing in the, um, the elements of like, uh, you would see like from card games, like going through a level, you attack this, step back, and then the opponent makes the attack type of style of game. Crafting and stuff as well, obviously keeping the elements of Minecraft all in that in set uh, like in like the minecraft story mode series that they've done so this is called minecraft dungeons and it's released in spring 2020 then we move on to one of the biggest things um i'm going to take a drink here keep these focal cords nice and loose you move into the guy who runs it all who has who's the end on who's is the be all end all of xbox head of xbox himself mr phil mr phil spencer 
He went on to say and talked about what he usually does and what his, his expe expectations were over the last year and what his expectations are for the next year ahead. He went on to say that there would be 60 games at, at the showcase that they were going to show. 60 games. 14 of them, 14 of them games were from the Xbox Game Studios family. And 34 of them games are on the game are on the game pass right now at launch. What's and then he wanted to say what's next for the act for Xbox in this direction that they're going to go. Went on to talk about Project X Cloud, which I'll get into later on. And then we move on to a game that I've been wanting to see how they would do it for ages as a game I'm going to definitely be streaming sometime on the channel. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. We got a trailer. And in the EA play uh, briefing, they done a, a 15 minute gameplay. You can go and find that and watch that and watch a bit of gameplay of it. I'm actually going through the games. But the trailer that we got for Xbox, for the guys who were watching the Xbox E3 briefing, uh, we got the trailer of, we got the nice good cinematic trailer of literally how the rise and how, like, a kind of like a backstory to it and to where uh, this Jedi, to where the E3 play takes off from. So that is released on the 15th of November this year. I can't wait for it. Then we move into a horror game. Now, I haven't seen too many horror games um, shown at E3 in the last couple of years that I've watched it. Uh, that I've watched it straight since 2012. I've watched it, I've watched it every single one since 2012. Um, since Xbox was getting really big for me. And the thing was... Uh, there was a game called uh, Blair Witch. Well, there was a movie called Blair Witch, but now they have a game called Blair Witch. And uh, that was released on August 30th, 2019. And I can't really go into too much detail about that because you kind of like run in like circles type thing. It's kind of like a game where like you're running in circles. I can't really describe it much. And then we move on to a really massive, great, massive, uh, I was like so excited, I, I had a nerve of chills down my spine and all this moment. Very special guest to introduce this next game. Kenny Reeves, the end all the be all, Mr. Anderson, uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, it's released date, it's the 16th of April 2020, I have it down 16th of the 4th 2020, so 16th of April <coughs> is the release date port. It's basically set in the futuristic metropolis um, where Cyber and so where Simon Alex, Prostech Simon Alex is the new thing, the best thing to have. And you basically start as basically as a thug in the underground and you work your way up through the, up through the system, taking out everybody on the way. Let me move on to a girl called um, Sarah Bond. Sarah Bond is a, is a creative director, I believe, for Xbox. Uh, she's the one behind uh, Xbox Game Pass. So right now, you're available on Xbox Game Pass. She's currently, she's a Batman Arkham Knight, uh, Metro Exodus, Hollow Knight, Borderlands The Handsome Collection are all available to download on the Game Pass right now. On the second page. <laughs> she also said there will be, for all you PC players, there is a new thing coming for Xbox if you're a PC player but you like playing Xbox games on your PC. Um, this, is, this is literally the best thing ever. Xbox Game Pass for PC. And they're she's pre and they're pre pre, pre on selected on that in a hundred pre selected games just for PC. So, and also what they're doing is guys is throwing in Halo Reach and the Halo Master Chief Collection on PC as well, and that's an open beta right now. Sign up to it to get it to get it to get it for PC. And then they went on to describe the ultimate an ultimate pass, the best pass that they could offer to uh, people who are console on PC. 
Now this in America, this this is sold for fourteen ninety nine dollars, fourteen dollars ninety nine. So in the UK, it'd be fourteen ninety nine, well thirteen quid basically. So yeah, it's called the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. This is here you get the Xbox Game Pass for console, Xbox Live Gold, which I'm assuming this is going to be three months gold, and then Xbox for PC at no additional cost. On top of that, that's for 15 quid. And then we came into a game for the, couple, the next couple of things here are all going to be games that's going to be on the Game Pass. So we came into a game that, as soon as I seen it, I fell in love with the graphics. The graphics are um, freaking believable. Um, and for what the game was, I thought it was so many, so I was seeing it, I was like, okay, this is an open world game. Okay, I died on. And then I was like, is this a new GTA? Is this, what is this? I can't tell you it's not. It was Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, freaking believable graphics. Up, cable up to 8K. Unbelievable. It just blew my mind, like how the quality of graphics on my, on my word. Like, and I, I being honest guys, I use all that very old television. But for my game consoles, I run very ancient television. I run a plasma TV on it for flip's sake. So I stick with the old school plasmas. Stop your LCDs. So then we moved a game called the Age of Empires 2. We all know about the Age of Empires 2 was coming to it. We have Wastelands, Wasteland 3 is coming out. And then we moved to Matt Booty, who's the head of Xbox Game Studios. To Double Flower, the guys who've done um, Brute Legends. And Psychonauts, uh, they released a new game, Psychonauts 2. And then we move into a game which I think is going to be really big and more really popular, especially for us, especially for people who like who love their love the Lego Star Wars games. Lego Star Wars have announced they're going to do the Skywalker the Skywalker Saga all nine episodes from Episode One right through the Episode Nine of the Skywalker Saga that will be released in twenty twenty. Then we have a new Dragon Ball C game, uh, Dragon Ball C Karat is coming out in early 2020, so I would speculate that being around uh, February time. And then a game that's on the Game Pass right now is a game called 12 Minutes, which is a guy being stuck in a time loop. So keep your head around that one, uh, what that's going to be based off. That's what I'm going to say about that. And then we have a group, big announcement. <coughs> from Xbox probably one of the games that helped sell the Xbox worldwide Gears of War Gears 5 September 10th September 10th 2019 that game will be released Gears 5 and at the issue briefing they had um, three WWE superstars there they had AJ Styles they had Austin Creed host of Up Up Down Down uh, although I know in the WWE world of things as uh, Xavier Woods and also Prince Pretty himself, Tyler Breeze, the up up part of the up up downtown crew, then 3R. <coughs> uh, then just for playing that game uh, early, you can get a Terminator uh, Rise of the Machines type of uh, expansion pack, uh, like custom skins and all for your character and all. Uh, for the game, just for pre-ordering this game early and playing it early, four days early to be exact. And then we got um something I'm going to show here. Um, this is a new Elite controller. So take a look at this.
So it's better me showing you it than me actually uh, talking about it because it's a lot easier. Then we have a game that didn't do too bad, but it's got, got its audience, it's got its fans. Uh, Dying Light 2 will be released in spring 2020. Um, so look forward to that. Forza Horizon 4 is getting an expansion pack called and it's a Lego. It's, Le and it's Lego. Yeah, it's Lego. Forza, Forza has been Lego. That's released this week, uh, June 14th. Um, then we have a State of Decay 2 with a new expansion pack called Heartland. It's expected this, uh, this month. Uh, you can play it this month, so you can. So it does, it's out on all so this. And then we have a game coming massively big over from Japan called Fantasy Star Online 2. It's going to be released to the Xbox at spring 2020. And then we have an Xbox exclusive. Um, a game massively big on PC, apparently, according to the Xbox. Crossfire X will be released in 2020. If any big guys out there know about Crossfire X, be happy that you can now play it on console. Then we have a game called Tales of, Tales of Arise will be released in 2020. And then another one in the sequel of the social outcast or games that, that there is. Borderlands 3, which will be released, which will be released on the 13th of September here. The uh, respective two pack, you know, being released, Borderlands 3 being released on, his, on the date, date of his death. Yeah, but uh, for Borderlands 2, you can get uh, an expansion pack that will lead you right up to the doorstep of Borderlands 3, so you don't go in blind to Borderlands 3. It's called the Five Per Century, so that is, you can go and get that right now. And then on to the most important things. Console streaming. I was talking about it earlier. Project xCloud will be launched in October 19. Um, basically your Project X Cloud turns your Xbox into uh, a personal console stream which means you can play games wherever you wherever you are and go you can play your games on the go and then we got to see Project Scarlet a work in the works matrix of Project Scarlet which will be released holiday 2020 along with that they're getting a new brand new Halo game called Halo Infinite that will be released at the exact same time Halo uh, holiday 2020 which to me I say like Christmas time, so Christmas twenty twenty. Yeah. And the only other thing I gotta say guys is the only other game I'm looking forward to guys is from was from Ubisoft which was Watch Dogs Legion, which was is released on March sixth, twenty twenty. It's the only because it's based not only because it's based in London, but it's just the game itself, I was I I play Watch Dogs so I have play with the first one, play the second one, play the second one, play the second one, all the way. Uh, the Watch Dogs race, and when I'm looking at it, I I fell back in the game series, and it kind of brought me back to the series. So, so Watch Dogs was a great game, and I was like, I'm going to play. And I was like, I'm going to play, and 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 I'm going to play. When we think about the future of gaming, it's not just PC, it's not just console, it's not just mobile, it's really all of the above. The Xbox is all about choice. We're investing in technology all throughout the game stack. We put the fan at the center of every decision we make. The games you want with the people you want on the devices that you want. And for us, that starts with our next generation console. We don't want to build just another console. We truly want it to be transformative. More immersion, more exploration, more detail. How do we make it easier for people to get into the game, to stay in the game? One of the things that gamers and developers are incredibly excited about is reducing load times. I'm an RPG gamer, and so like, loading screens are things. Sitting there in the fake elevator, because you know that the game's loading in the background. It's just an elevator ride forever. That's our goal with gaming. This generation is special because we've really unlocked this new capability to connect with the characters and worlds in a way that no previous generation has allowed. This generation is going to be a bigger leap than any generation we've done before. At the heart of our next generation console is our custom design processor, leveraging the latest Zen 2 and Navi technology from our partners at AMD. From a pure processing perspective, this is four times more powerful than the Xbox One X. We're leveraging high bandwidth DDR6 to ensure that we're getting the best performance possible. It's going to usher.
feature in resolution and frame rates that we've never seen before. Like, never seen before. We're looking at frame rates up to 120 frames per second. 8K capability, variable refresh rate. Next gen ray tracing. It's real time because it's hardware accelerated for the first time ever. What I'm personally most excited about is the SSD. We've created a new generation of SSDs. We're actually using the SSD as a virtual RAM. We're seeing more than 40 times performance increases over the current generation. The combination of the SSD and the solid state drive are really what gives you a totally new experience. Now we can take all that power and fight back into the scene so we can actually generate more life in that world. And get to the gamer in a seamless way so that then you're fully experiencing what the game developer wants to experience. Gaming experience with Xbox, it all comes forward with Scarlet.